There's a lot of bad misinformation going on coming from the vegan community. All right, the first thing I'm going to go into here is the ridiculous, absolutely dishonest health claims made by vegans. Mr. Vegan Gain. Cancer is a preventable illness that is caused by animal products and can be treated through a Whole Foods vegan diet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically, the vast majority of the medical literature demonstrates that animal products cause cancer. Mm hmm Vegans have the lowest IGF-1 levels of any diet group, which lowers our cancer risk. <laughs> and the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever conducted found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians. The truth about the vegan diet is it typically will be healthier than the standard North American diet, but pretty much anything is going to be healthier than the standard North American diet. Who would have thought that there's a diet healthier than french fries and burgers soaking in 10 pounds of fat? Okay, so first of all, you claimed that veganism cures cancer, yet you didn't demonstrate any evidence whatsoever that it cures cancer. All you did was show a bunch of studies where being vegan could possibly lower your risk of certain types of cancer. So the first fundamental flaw in his logic is that even if something does increase the risk of cancer, it may also decrease the risk of some other disease. So what we really want to be focusing on here is overall lifespan. So let's say we took the time to actually read all the studies on dairy and we concluded that um, dairy increases your risk of cancer. Well, we can look at a study like this which shows that um, vegetarians actually do healthier for their hearts than vegans do. So even if um, not eating dairy uh, decreases your risk of cancer, it increases your risks of other problems. So again, it's about overall health and longevity that we're concerned with. The World Health Organization analyzed over 800 studies and found strong mechanistic evidence that red meat and processed meat have a carcinogenic effect. Now, a bullet to the head carries a far greater mortality risk than eating meat, but why play Russian roulette with your food? Would a smart person take a gun, put a bullet in the chamber, and then point it at his head and press the trigger over and over again until he gets cancer, heart disease, or diabetes. Now, if you were to consecutively fire a loaded gun at your head, the odds of you getting shot are 100%. I think what Vegan Gains means to say is it's like taking a gun with one bullet, firing it at your head, and then spinning the barrel again, and then firing it at your head again. So let's look at the information here uh, from the WHO. They get their information from the IARC, and according to them, there's an 18% increased risk of colorectal cancer from eating processed meats. The lifetime risk of colorectal cancer in the USA is 45 per 1,000 men and women. If you reduced your consumption of processed meat to the lowest level possible, your lifetime risk of colorectal cancer would be about 36.9 per 1,000 people meaning your actual risk would decrease from 4.5% to 3.7%, which is a 0.8% decrease, which is less than 1%. Playing Russian roulette, you have a 16.6% .6 chance of shooting yourself on the first bullet, and if you fire multiple times, the risk is much higher. Now, comparing that to the risks of colorectal cancer is ridiculous. He's comparing a 16.6% .6 chance risk with a 0.8% chance risk, and just because you get colorectal cancer doesn't necessarily mean you're going to die from colorectal cancer, whereas if you shoot a bullet in your head, you're most likely going to die. 
And again, he has failed to factor in the potential benefits of eating red and processed meat. Drinking alcohol, for example, increases your risk of cancer. It significantly increases your risk of breast cancer if you're a heavy drinker, yet drinking alcohol can help reduce um, clogging arteries. So again, overall lifespan and longevity is what we're concerned with here. Do vegans live longer than non-vegans? The group of people who had the longest lifespan in the world were from Okinawa, Japan, but this has recently changed and now they're the same as the rest of Japan. And if we look at their diet, they eat a low meat diet, but again, not a no meat diet. What is interesting is the anomaly group in Okinawa who have an exceptionally high lifespan and they actually eat 20% more meat than the national average. Now someone could claim that this is only true just for Japanese people or Oriental people or something like this. So let's look at another demographic. Let's look at Europeans. Now a very interesting example here is Switzerland, which is tied with Andorra and Spain for highest overall life expectancy in Europe. And what is the Swiss diet? Oh damn, it's heavy in meat. In fact, if we look at this study right here, some of the healthiest people in Europe are heavy meat eaters. When we look at Spain, who is tied for the highest lifespan, their diet is similar to the Mediterranean diet, and this is rich in fish, and fish is a meat. If we look at this study, not only does it show that vegans have higher rates of cancer, but a whole bunch of other health problems as well. Now, of course, it's more complicated than this, but all I'm saying is the claim that veganism is the one all best diet for all races and all people and will give you the best lifespan is absolute bullshit. Now, I've already refuted his conclusions, but I also want to show you that the way he's interpreting his data is totally wrong as well. Now it's important to understand it's a lot easier to pump out bullshit than it is to refute it. If I believe that eating onions is good for uh, treating cancer, well I'm sure I could find some kind of study with some kind of ingredient inside an onion that helps fight cancer. However, to refute it, I need to carefully go over the entire study he posted and give it a fair logical analysis as well as look for other opposing counter data, which takes me hours. As of such, I'm not going to take the time to refute all his bullshit. I'm only going to zero in on his strongest evidence. And the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever conducted found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians. Most smart people understand that when we see correlations, there's a cause and effect relationship occurring. Mm-hmm. Now immediately you can tell someone's full of shit because he's trying to hide the study itself. He could easily include the link in the uh, picture he presents here, but he leaves out the link as well as does not include the link in his video description, which makes me think he's trying to get people to avoid actually reading the study itself. And for good reason. Let's read the study. Now what's really interesting is there's four groups in this study. Meat eaters, fish eaters, um, vegetarians uh, who eat dairy products, and then vegans. And when we look at the results, it's pretty much exactly what you expect. For total cancer, it was significantly lower in fish eaters and borderline significantly lower among vegetarians than meat eaters. Huh. So I guess fish are actually a vegetable. I didn't know that, but it does make good sense because I know a lot of vegetarians who eat fish. Sarcasm, alarm. Science has already well established that eating a lot of red meat is bad for you and that eating a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables is good for you. Now, the problem with this study is, what about meat eaters who eat, say, nothing but chicken or nothing but turkey? These aren't red meats. And say these people also eat a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables. What you want to be comparing is various different types of meat eaters. And just as a final note, I'd like to add that I used to be vegan and I quit because I got very sick despite taking supplementation and carefully researching veganism beforehand. I was taking B12, iron, magnesium, calcium, etc. and I still got sick being vegan. This is because different humans happen to be different humans, and while you can make some general recommendations about what humans need to eat, different people need different amounts of nutrition. Now again, I'm going to refer back to my initial claim. I'm not claiming that vegetarianism and veganism is an exceptionally unhealthy diet. I think it's more healthy than your standard American diet of cheeseburgers and french fries. But the idea that you can't eat meat in a way that's healthy is utter bullshit. 
and if anything, the evidence shows us that eating white meat is actually good for you. So if you like the content, please share it, please like it or dislike it based on whether you like it or dislike it, you know, subscribe, uh, and if you have a video request of your own, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I do every video request ever. Uh, feel free to ask anything. If you want a really good answer, try to keep your questions somewhat philosophical, but if you want me to research a topic for you and to approach it with intellectual skepticism, I can do that as well.